curses. Indeed. Yes. 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 What are you doing here? Brother Genitivi? Why? He was on the trail of the urn of sacred ashes, yes. Whether he found it, the Maker only knows. I haven't seen Brother Genitivi in weeks. He said no word. It's so unlike him. I'm afraid something has happened. Genitivi's research into the urn may have led him in. Perhaps the urn has been lost for a reason. I pray for Genitivi's safety, but hope dwindles with each passing day. I, I tried to send help, but some knights came from Redcliffe looking for him not long ago. I sent them after Genitivi, and they too have disappeared. Now, don't ask me where they went. You'll go after them. And what if ill luck should befall you too? This search is a curse on all of us. Some things are, are not meant to be found. I... <sighs> so be it. All he said before he left was that he would be staying at an inn near Lake Callenhard, investigating something in that area. If you were wise, you would turn away and never look back. Please, I beg you. I do not think this will end well. All actions have consequences. Perhaps Genitivi brought this on himself. Genitivi could not see how the search had consumed him. It was all he thought about. I hated seeing him like that. I'm not surprised it led to this. It is just the fear speaking. You're wasting time. If you insist on going after Brother Genitivi, you should leave as soon as possible. I mean, if anyone is to find him, they should do it sooner rather than later. I, I am just his assistant. I, I just follow instructions. Yes, yes, of course. Thank you for your concern. I, it's been a very difficult time for me and sometimes I don't know what to think or feel. I want Genitivi to be rescued. You understand, don't you? You do not have to trust me. My conscience is clear. Follow in Genitivi's footsteps if you must, but be careful. What are you doing? You're not supposed to go in there. I'm sorry, but that room is not for guests. It's full of books and papers, and I'd rather they were not disturbed. I said no. Genitivi was a very private person. No, don't touch that door! That's my sister's house. I'm almost sure of it. This is, yes, this is the right address. She could be inside. Could we go and see? Do I seem a little nervous? I am. I really don't know what to expect. I'd like you to be there with me, if you're willing. Or we could leave, I suppose. We really don't have time to pay a visit, do we? Maybe we should go. Will she even know who I am? Does she even know? That sounds very strange. Sister. Sister. Hmm. Oh, now I'm babbling. Maybe we should go. Let's go. Let, let's just go. Huh. Hello? Hey, you have linens to wash? I charge three bits on a bundle. You won't find better. And don't trust what that Natalia woman tells you either. She's foreign and she'll rob you blind. I'm not here to have any wash done. <laughs> uh, my name's Alistair. I'm... Well, this may sound sort of strange, but... Are you called Dana? If so, I suppose I'm your brother. My what? I am Goldana, yes. Do you know my name? Foolery are you folk up to? 
Look, our mother, she worked as a servant in Redcliffe Castle a long time ago before she died. D do you know about that? She... You! I knew it! They told me you was dead. They told me the babe was dead along with mother, but I knew they was lying. They told you I was dead? Who? Who told you that? Them's at the castle. I told them the babe was the king's and they coined to shut my mouth and sent me on my way. I knew it. I'm sorry, I didn't know that. The babe didn't die. I'm him. I'm your brother. <clears throat> For all the good it does me. You killed mother, you did, and I've had to scrape by all this time. That coin didn't last long, and when I went back, they ran me off. And who in the... Some elf to follow him about and carry his riches for him? Hey, don't speak to him that way. He's my friend. And a Grey Warden, just like me. Oh, I see. A prince and a Grey Warden, too. Well, who am I to think poorly of someone so high and mighty compared to me? I don't know you, boy. Your royal father forced himself on my mother and took her away from me. And what do I got to show for it? Nothing. They tricked me good. I, I got five mouths to feed. And unless you can help with that, I got less than no use for you. I... I'm sorry. I don't know what to say. Well, so he's found it. I'm his sister. But what are you to me, boy, except the one who took my mother away, hmm? You think I wished her dead? I never wanted that. Have the life you think I did, Goldana. I suppose not. A bastard is still a bastard, isn't he? But... Brother or no, I've got five mouths to feed and no time to spare until they are. Then let me promise you this, Goldana. I'll do whatever I can, speak to whomever I have to, to ensure you and your children are taken care of. Hmm, that sounds all well and fine, but you'll have to forgive me if I don't accept- You have my promise. I can't give you more than that. I- Let's go. I want to go. Goodbye, sister. That was not what I expected, to put it lightly. I lived up to my promise, I suppose, but this is the family I've been wondering about all my life? I can't believe it. I, I guess I was expecting her to accept me without question. Isn't that what family is supposed to do? I, I feel like a complete idiot. Yes, I'm sorry too. I guess I should have known better. Let's just go. I don't want to talk about this anymore. Mmm, that smell. This is uneven leather, isn't it? I would know that anywhere. <laughs> I don't know how you found it, but thank you. <coughs> now, if only you could find me a prostitute or not. A bowl of fish chowder and a corrupt politician. I'd really feel like I was home. <laughs> and they fit as well. Marvelous. 